Stages of processing information processing models consist of a series of stages, or boxes, which represent stages of processing. Arrows indicate the flow of information from one stage to the next. Information taken in by the sense organs goes through an initial stage of perception, which involves the analysis of its content. Even at this early stage of processing the brain is already extracting meaning from the input, in an effort to make sense of the information it contains. The process of perception will often lead to the making of some kind of record of the input received, and this involves learning and memory storage. Once a memory has been created for some item of information, it can be retained for later use, to assist the individual in some other setting. This will normally require the retrieval of the information. Retrieval is sometimes carried out for its own sake, merely to access some information stored in the past. On the other hand, we sometimes retrieve information to provide the basis for further mental activities such as thinking. Thought processes often make use of memory retrieval, as for example when we use previous experience to help us deal with some new problem or situation. Sometimes this involves the rearrangement and manipulation of stored information to make it fit in with a new problem or task. Thinking is thus rather more than just the retrieval of old memories. The cognitive processes shown in figure are in reality a good deal more complex and interactive than this simple diagram implies. The diagram suggests that the various stages of cognitive processing are clearly distinct from one another, each one in its own box. This is a drastic oversimplification, and it would be more accurate to show the different stages as merging and overlapping with one another. For example, there is no exact point at which perception ceases and memory storage begins, because the process of perception brings about learning and memory storage and thus in a sense these processes are continuous. In fact all of the stages of cognition shown in the diagram overlap and interact with one another, but a diagram showing all of these complex interactions would be far too confusing, and in any case a lot of the interactions would be speculative. Figure should therefore be regarded as a greatly simplified representation of the general sequential order of the cognitive processes which typically occur, but it would be more realistic to think of cognition as a continuous flow of information from the input stage through to the output stage, undergoing different forms of processing along the way. Serial processing effectively means one process has to be completed before the next starts. Parallel processing assumes some or all processes involved in a cognitive task occur at the same time. There is evidence from dual task experiments that particular parallel processing is possible. It is difficult to determine whether a task is processed in a serial or parallel fashion as it probably depends on the processes required to solve a task, and the amount of practice on a task. Parallel processing is probably more frequent when someone is highly skilled. For e.g., a skilled typist thinks several letters ahead, a novice focuses in just one letter at a time. Information processing is how individuals perceive, analyze, manipulate, use, and remember information. Cognitive development is ongoing and gradual. The areas of basic cognitive changes generally occur in five areas. Attention. Improvements are seen in selective attention, the process by which one focuses in one stimulus while tuning out another, as well as divided attention, the ability to pay attention to two or more stimuli at the same time. Memory. Improvements are seen in working memory and long-term memory. Processing speed. With maturation, children think more quickly. Processing speed improves sharply between age 5 and middle adolescence, levels off around age 15. And does not appear to change between late adolescence and adulthood. Organization of thinking. As children mature, they are more planful, they approach problems with strategy, and are flexible in using different strategies in different situations. Metacognition. Older children can think about thinking itself. This often involves monitoring one's own cognitive activity during the thinking process. Metacognition provides the ability to plan ahead, see the future consequences of an action, and provide alternative explanations of events.